that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. There's some pretty tough enemies out there. We're living in evil days. It's not easy. But let's never forget. And some of our greatest enemies, you know, if we just turned on them, they'd run away. It's like the story of the man who uh, heard a dog bark behind him, and he didn't like dogs. And he looked around and he saw this dog and he started to pick up his speed. And as he walked faster, the dog padded faster after him, barking all along. And so the man started to run. And the dog started to run. And the faster the man ran, the faster the dog ran, barking at his heels until finally the man was so exhausted he couldn't run any further. He slowed down. And the dog slowed down. And he stopped. And the dog stopped. He turned around and he took a step towards the dog and the dog backed up a step. He started to walk towards the dog and the dog started to run backwards. And pretty soon, the man was chasing the dog. And many of our fears are just like that. When Israel sent in those spies, ten men discouraged two and a half million people from entering into the good things that God had for them. But their report was, we're like grasshoppers compared to them. Forty years went by. They came back and they're parked at Gilgal and the word comes from Jericho that the hearts of the people had melted in the land. That's exactly what it said about Israel a generation before. The hearts of the Israelites melted. Now, because they're standing with God, it says the hearts of the Canaanites melted in the presence of the Israelites. Ten men said, the giants are so big we can't beat them. Joshua and Caleb said, they're so big we can't miss them. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. They said, God is able to do it for us. And maybe because we're trying to fight in the energy of our own strength, we're being whopped. We look at the enemy today and we say, oh, he's too big for us. Well, he is. But he's not too big for God. Ye shall not fear them, for the Lord your God shall fight for you. What an encouragement that is today. To know that the battle is the Lord's. And when the enemy comes in like a flood, it's the Lord who raises up a standard against it. And our job is to rally around the banner and stand for the Lord Jesus in an evil day, to stand simply for the truth of God.